Well, do you believe in ghosts? We visited one place today that might make you a believer, the, the Belvoir Winery in Liberty. And when we say they're known for their spirits, we may or may not be talking about the wine. If there was ever a place that ghosts would haunt, this is it. A former orphanage and nursing home. Thousands died here. Each room would have held two orphans uh, when the orphans were here. Sitting on a hill in rural Liberty, the old Oddfellows home is now the Wellvoir Winery. Jesse Limekuler runs it. This room here was um, the sewing room, so they had um, girls in here like mending clothes or making clothes basically. The tour he gives me of the main building features plenty of ghost stories, including a few tales of ghosts he saw himself. So I was looking at the fireplace and I could see the little boy had like a red shirt blue uh, knickers and brown boots and um, I could tell what it was but at the same time I could see the details of the fireplace through him and he was there for maybe about five seconds and then just gone after that. Other times in these halls he says he can hear children singing, usually ring around the rosy. His daughter encountered one of them. This is where my daughter was when, when she heard the little girl talk to her. The Odd Fellows home, so known for its hauntings, the Sci Fi Channel's Ghost Hunters filmed an episode here. The piano over there, um, when it was on the uh, Ghost Hunters episode, uh, that piano in the corner was the one that played on its own. There's even a real skeleton here. It was once used in rituals in the old Odd Fellows Lodge. He died before this place was built. Maybe he's now one of the many who seem to haunt it. I'm a believer now. <laughs> Pretty spooky, but the Belvoir Winery is known for just more than just ghosts. They actually host weddings and other special events, including a big Halloween party this Friday night. Well, some guys like to test their metal to see.